Have you ever noticed a small lump on the outside of your vagina at the bottom of the labia? Does it come and go for no apparent reason? Or has it ever grown and become uncomfortable and painful? Here's the explanation you've been looking for about your Bartholin glands. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Our body has several structures called glands that release fluid. For example, the sebaceous glands on our face that produce oil. In this video, I'm going to teach you about a pair of glands in the vagina that often become blocked and infected. At the end of the video, we'll cover how to treat it. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. If you recall from the previous video about external anatomy, the labia are part of the vulva and are in front of the opening to the vagina. The Bartholin glands are a pair of glands found just behind the labia at the 5 and 7 o'clock positions. Like other glands, they release fluid. The fluid travels from the gland through a tiny tube called a duct, which opens onto the skin. And the purpose of the fluid is to lubricate the vagina. If the duct becomes blocked, the fluid will back up and form a collection of fluid called a cyst. This is very similar to acne on our face when the oil glands are blocked. If the blockage does not go away, the cyst may continue to grow and it may become infected and filled with pus, which is called an abscess. Bartholin gland cysts and abscesses most often occur after puberty in reproductive age women between ages 20 and 29. It is very rare to occur after age 40, and if there is a growth, then it should be checked for cancer. The cysts occur by chance, so there is no genetic inheritance. The number one cause of infection is from gonorrhea, so you're at higher risk if you don't use protection during intercourse. The cysts may start out as small, firm, painless lumps, but may be tender to touch if they're inflamed. If they grow, they might become uncomfortable to walk or sit. Just imagine sitting on a grape or a plum. If an abscess develops, the area may become red, swollen, tender, and hot and you may develop a fever. Diagnosis is quite simple. Your OBGYN will inspect and feel the area. Once confirmed, there are several options for treatment. For all sizes of cysts and abscesses, you can apply warm compresses or soak the area several times per day. Small asymptomatic cysts don't require any further treatment than that. They should resolve in about a week. Large cysts should be drained. Your OBGYN can do this in the office by numbing the area, making a small incision with a scalpel, then pressing on the cyst to release the fluid. They may insert gauze or a small tube to keep the cyst open, allowing it to drain and heal. If the cyst constantly returns, you may need a surgery called marsupialization, where the cyst is opened, drained, and then held open with stitches to allow it to heal. If you have an abscess, you will also need antibiotics to treat the infection. Finally, there is no way to prevent cysts and abscesses from occurring, but maintaining good hygiene and using protection during intercourse to prevent infections will help reduce your risk. Thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and like the video. Then check out this other video to keep learning.